Sports. In the past legislative session, Maryland's General Assembly passed a bill providing grants to Maryland scientists who develop non-animal based research methods. It was the first state in the country to establish this type of fund. The Institute for In Vitro Sciences is doing this work already. Inside the Gaithersburg facility, teams are coming up with new ways to use technology that replaces the need for lab animals. Specifically, the lab tests out in vitro testing using human relevant models for thousands of different products and ingredients. The need extends across industries from cosmetics to cleaning products and pharmaceuticals. It's not just the animals who benefit from this type of innovation. Non-animal testing also benefits humans. According to the CDC, more than 90 percent of human drugs fail in clinical trials despite successful animal trials. That's because of differences between animal body systems and humans. We do have available and really uh, well-tested non-animal based methods that can be used and are used on a daily basis. We have a lot farther to go and there's a lot more that we need to do, uh, but we're, we're coming and we appreciate all the support in order to keep moving forward. This type of human relevant research can better predict the human response to a drug or other chemical. The Institute for In Vitro Sciences collaborates with companies on how to incorporate in vitro models into testing programs. It also collaborates with other scientists to teach workshops on the technology. The hope is other states will follow suit to move beyond animal testing.